there's a mutant in here.
need a blade. I worry about the other. You couldn't possibly. I. I'd be alone. I mostly deal with. Gotta keep up. So you can. Hands to. Storm. Trump. I. You're that. You look tired, friend. What is it? Best offense is a good. If you need. Strange. What is. What is it? Let me get. Stay out of trouble. Heard the ref. Don't think you can board. What do you need? Thinking of settling it? What is it? Heard of. What is it? The gods gave you. Fear not. What is it? What is it? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What is it, Khajiit? supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing the stall, and that's fine. So you, you don't know give anything up now, about this house? Fear? Is that what we're gonna no. teach our daughter? Mama, why are you and Papa fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... It's boys, I get you something to eat. Mama and Papa will talk later. Excuse me. 
Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. I was actually just about to head on inside. Good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Three the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we'll get to the bottom of this. Come out! We know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Stendar's mercy! This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. You first. Come on. Let's go. No. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Get out of my face, You will kill. You will kill or you will die. I don't want to die. I can't die here. Tadra has us. You or me. Someone there? Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down.
Yes, further into the bowels. So close, your prize is waiting. Fool! Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak! Yes, it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. Revenge. No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. What is it? Dragons?
I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Keep your eyes and ears open. isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Oh yes, I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here, but all right. It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Uh-huh.
not a thief trying to rob you. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Damn you! the nose. The old man hands out the orders. Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. outside it's just the market rabble we should get back to work Elizabeth handles the customers I just check the shipments step up to the counter you need to leave feel free to take a look around the store you need to leave no I'm not Arn leaf yes I know it's called Arn leaf and sons Oh, by the Divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now. This store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks. Especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleif. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. No. As if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? God help us. Come back whenever you need something. The selection seems small, but we can provide whatever you need. Just ask. You need to leave. You need to leave. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thorn be taught? Again, he's...
come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink. You look a bit... peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. Best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markarth. Of course. But I can't just hand that over. Privacy, after all. Well, you seem like the honest sort. Here you are. Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Brother Veralis isn't the most popular man in town right now. Degain the Beggar got himself kicked out of the Temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. Degain the Beggar got himself kicked out of the Temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markar. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. What was that you said, venomous wife of now mine? Now you just tell me if you need something. Uh, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. Best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markarf. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Nothing, you pig-headed oaf. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. But make me an offer, and I can't be too careful these days, with the war and other dangers. I remember her. Her stance. The way she walked. A trained warrior, no doubt. She had a room here. I talked to the innkeeper about it. Watch your back, friend. Better yet, pay me to do it for you. You come right to me if you find an unwashed floor or a lumpy bed.
We're one of the same co And you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Spell looks dangerous. What are you doing that for? You look worse than I feel. Alms. I said alms, you backbiter. Give a cripple worker a helping hand. Aye, a whole heap of it. You see that temple? Way up there? All them women keeping to themselves? Won't let poor to gain in, nope. Not even for a look. But they've got a treasure in there. Gold statue size of a child. Who knows what they use it for, but I know what I'll use it for. Well, let's not put it like that. Wouldn't want the Thieves' Guild catching wind of us, eh? Nah, just creep in and have a go at taking it out. I'll be here and pay you half of what my man in Riften promised for it. You'll be helping out an old beggar and the divine smile on that sort of thing. Unlike my husband, Cuba, How about a septum? Wait. What is there to know? It's in the temple, you bring it out. You bring it to me, I pay you. Now get moving. Got any ale or mead? Bring more gold next time. You just tell me if you need something. You. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. You've been warned, outsider.
What the? God take the. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Best defense is a good defense, am I right? I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. Let me give. Someone stole your sweet girl. Trouble? Excuse me, what's your business here? This is a private home, and the master of the house is a very old man. He's not to be disturbed. Wait, it's okay, my dear. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. He is the King in Rags, a man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. I'm sorry. But you're not
The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. It's an old family. Very well respected throughout the Reach. 
The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they owned Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. I have records I need to tend to. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. My dear Vagrant, we're the only family worth knowing in Markarth. We own everything in this city, even the jail. And guess who owns the Silverblood Inn? Not that we named it that, the people just insisted. He's the real head of this family. He may not be the eldest, but all the work that keeps us respected is handled by my Thonar. Yes, I was bored talking to you anyway. I work for the Silverbloods. Help clean. Just here to work. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Be careful. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. Imperial agent? That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house! Get out of my house. Now!
Heard they're reforming a Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. The old fort near Riften. This is Markarth, Traveler. Safest city in the Reach. We warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanak, until you and Eltra started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King in Rags when you're in Sydney Mine. You'll never leave Markarth. under arrest for murder and conspiracy against the city of Markarth. You aren't fooling me. Trusted witnesses have seen you commit several murders. And there are accounts of your suspicious behavior throughout the city. Now come quietly. All right.
we warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. We have nice arrangement in this city, and we're not letting you get in the way. You have a problem with that? Take it up with Marinak. I'm sure the King in Rags and his Force One would love to meet you. Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence in Sidna Mine for you. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Good. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. What are you in for, New Blood? Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, New Blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Madinak's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. Good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have down here. A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran. Joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in their blood. Mm-hmm. The new meat. So soft. Tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Liar. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> That's what I was hoping you'd say. Come on! Let's see what you make. That's your best, huh? Do your work. Don't let him get away with this. It's been so long since I tasted. 
tasted my own blood. Sour. Come on, he's not so tough! Yeah, yeah. Go on in. Sure, you shouldn't be home in bed. I left behind my daughter, Wale, when I was. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen, but the Silverbloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. Year 7, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now, but something keeps me going. All right, then. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. That didn't stop them from arresting me. I didn't even know who they said I killed. A couple of years. I wasn't a Forsworn when I came, but I joined up when I got in. Easier that way. All right, then. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. First it was six months, then a year, then two years. Now I'm in for life. Uh-huh. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. I don't want to talk about it. Long enough. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. That's it. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Do your work! Ooh, 
Until next time. Here's your ship. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? All right, then. What are you doing? Until next time. All right, then. How old is my daughter now, I wonder? In prison, you lose track You serve time. your time by digging. So dig. Until next time. The Nords have turned you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Your freedom? Yes. But even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. Our vengeance will come. You remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. 
Do you remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. You serve your time by digging. So dig. Until next time. Are you feeling sick? Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both... My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? So you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenak once. That was enough. But my little Aether didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. I'm not Manadnak! I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Mm -hmm. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. Back. Have you done what I asked? Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family. Each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisvar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Our vengeance will come. You serve your time by digging, so dig. You look a bit peaked. You sure we shouldn't be home in bed? What? No! No, don't kill me! Please! I was sent here because someone said I was a forsworn. <laughs> Never <laughs> <can't come. laughs> Mercy! Oh well, to run off.
I'm innocent. The Nords framed me. I was nowhere near that murder weapon. Remember the sun? You finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. What's going on, Madinok? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Markarth, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The Reach belongs to the Force Wars! I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. It's a little gift from the dwarves. Who knew they would end up helping our cause? We have to move. We'll talk more once we see the sky.
I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this. It's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Now, I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. Prison, do you? You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Your family? You... Poison the Reach with your tainted silver huh? for long enough, Bonar! Never say! Watch it! This is Markarth, Traveler. Safest city in the Reach. So Madanak was behind those murders. Gods help us. So, you can cast a few spells. 
Am I supposed to be impressed? Gods gave you two hands, and you used them both for your weapon. I can respect that. Everything all right? Construction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. <laughs> 